Hello everyone, Amud here from your target common YouTube channel and in this video tutorial we will learn to create traversing waist xpath. So traversing is the process of navigating from current node to its children node or parent node. Let me show you the example. Here I have one HTML page and if I open this into Chrome browser and inspect this Harry Potter. This Harry Potter is within H2 tag and the parent of this H2 tag is div where class is book and the parent of this div is the above one where id is library so for h2 this div is parent and this div is grandparent this div where class is book it has total three children one h2 and two p so let's locate this div where class is book i'm going to write simple xpath with the help of class attribute so press ctrl f slash slash div then add class equal to book so it is finding total three web elements because we have total three books and first one is highlighted if this is the current node and i want to go to any children node h2 or p i need to use single slash and then i need to use the tag name which is h2 or p if you want to select the second p then we can use position which is 2 so it is highlighting the second P. So this is actually forward traversing because we are going down from the current node. But suppose I need to go back to the parent of this tape. That means I need to traverse backward. So for that also I need to use single slash and then two dots. You can see the parent of this div which is here is highlighted. If I want to go to the parent of this div then again use slash and two dots. And again I can traverse forward that means I can use single slash use div again div whatever you want to do you can do so this is actually traversing we are traversing from current node to children node or parent node when we try to traverse from current node to children node that is called forward traversing if you traverse from current node to its parent node that is called backward traversing so that means we have total two types of traversing and we have seen the example now now let's see the real time use case where we may need to use this concept. Actually, we have seen a lot of examples of forward traversing, but we have not covered backward traversing. So let's see that. Here I have opened the Amazon.com and going to search iPhone charger. So here it shows multiple products with their prices. Like for the first one, it is $16.99 and for the second one, it's $20.97. So suppose I need to get the name of product whose price is $16.99. There might be multiple products whose prices are same. So I just need to find those product names. So here we have multiple approaches. We can locate all the product, then get the item price, compare it and then filter it. That is the lengthy approach. Here we know what is the starting point. That means I am saying that we need to pick the products whose price is $16.99. If we inspect this product listing page, you will find all the products are listed in their own component. Let me show you that. If you simply mouse over, you can see left hand side how it is highlighting and go till it is highlighted completely. So let's close everything. You can see the first div is highlighting the first result in the product list left hand side. If you mouse over on the second div, it is highlighting the second product. Similarly, if we scroll down and scroll to the third div, it is highlighting the third product. So all the product here sharing the same pattern. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this price as the starting point or the reference from I need to travel and get back to the product name. So let's inspect this 1699. So it has multiple components to show the prices, but here we have one span class where we have the complete price. So I'm going to use this as the reference and write the X path. That means span at class which will be a off your screen and use logical opter and use text equal to 1699 so we have only one product that is fine but if we have multiple products same concept will be applied there as well if i mouse over on this highlighted part you can see left hand side it is highlighting that product amount now i need to find where the product name is if this is the price and if you inspect this name, you can see the product name is here in this span and product price is here. All are in the same div. So let me close this 
div first and basically I need to come here then my product name and product price have the same parent because if you see this div which is the parent contains three other divs first one contains the product name second div contains the reviews and the third div contains the price and other details so I need to do backward traversing till I reach here so how to do that simply use slash and paste two dots now we were here now we are here and we need to keep traversing backward till we reach there so let's choose again slash two dots slash two dots and repeat it so now we are at the parent node where it contains all the details so we have used a lot of slash dot dot we have better ways which I will explain in next video. But as of now, to reach the desired one, I am using slash dot dot. Once we are here, I need to traverse in forward direction to reach the product name. Now here I know that the first div contains the product name. So let's go to first div. So use slash then div. Inside this div, we have this span class which contains the product name. So I am going to write two double slashes and span or maybe I can use h2 then span in fact h2 two slashes then span because single slash is for immediate child and here we have this span within a if you want to do single slash then I need to use h2 slash a then span but if you want to reach to span directly use two slashes and span so now we are able to get the product name where the price is 16.99 if I change the price to 2097 which is the second one let me change the price and it is highlighting the second one now so the traversing is important concept which helps us to write the better xpath this is also called independent independent xpath because the product name is dependent on price here so basically we need to find the current node or the node from where we need to traverse and get the detail so we have multiple access in xpath which will help us to traverse faster because if the parent is far from the node, then you may need to use multiple slash dot dot which is not good or in forward direction also we may need to traverse to multiple nodes to reach a desired node so instead of writing those many slash dot dot or slashes we can use some xpath access which i will cover in next video so that's all in this video if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.